he took out way too many things on finance, they come back to bite you. Advice for people head over heels in debt. If you are head over heels in debt, you need to punish yourself. Okay? Not by way of physical violence on yourself. Not by way of physical violence on yourself. I know so I'm going to try to cut this up and try to say, oh, Jay Wise is promoting. No. You've lived a life of luxury to some degree. So what, what you need to do now is you need to punish yourself. Every single luxurious item and that, or any little fun, listen, no, none of that bullshit. That all needs to stop. Bare minimum basics. No going out to restaurants, nothing. Home cook everything. No going out to the club. No going on holidays for five, six years. Nothing. You can think this is crazy and that, hey, stay in debt. Because what you've done is you've rewarded yourself without working hard. You see, treats and luxuries and that are for people who worked hard. So I know you didn't work hard because you didn't have the money to pay for it outright. You can't get into debt if you pay for things outright. You can only get into debt if you pay for things using money that you haven't already got. And why have you not got it? Because you've not worked hard enough. So therefore, you don't deserve the treat. I said this many times before. I remember when I was an apprentice, I was working with a guy who was literally working in Wood Green on the avenues. And um, this guy was talking about going like Spain or somewhere like that. And he was like, yeah, I used my credit card to put down a deposit. So I said, why did you use your credit card to put down a deposit? Why didn't you just pay for it outright in cash furthermore? He's like, oh, because I didn't have the money for the deposit. Where the fuck are you going then? Why are you going on holiday? You haven't worked hard enough. You haven't saved enough to pay for that holiday. So therefore, you don't deserve that holiday. You see, I only buy things that I've got in cash, apart from properties and that. Yeah. So I'll make sure I work for it first. Yeah. And then I'll go and, you know, indulge in the luxury items and that. And you know what? Maybe you can take out some things on finance and that. But you need to limit the amount of things you take out on finance. You see, this person here who's head over heels in debt, they didn't just take out one thing on finance. No, they took out a lot of things on finance and then they also used their credit card for other things. So, yeah, you can take out one or two things on finance as long as you know in the future you can manage those debts and that or manage those monthly payments and that. But that's not what that guy did. He took out way too many things on finance. They come back to bite you.